standing here on the fringe of the indigenous forest where a fire has spread through the forest in the recent past. And behind me you can see several dead trees, but not to fear because the forest is quickly starting to re-establish itself. For this purpose it uses pioneer species like this species over here, Virgilia oroboides, which is known as the Kürbum. And this tree has the habit of establishing after a disturbance. It can grow well in full sunlight and it is a nitrogen fixer so it can put back a lot of nitrogen into the system where it colonizes. As soon as these pioneer species have now started to grow and become a little bit larger, it paves the way for new secondary succession species to grow in their shade and in such a way the forest will regenerate itself and the species that we know so well in the high forest part will come back. So it's a stepwise process, first the pioneer species like Virgilia and then the secondary succession species. You may ask how do the seed, or how does the seed get there from the secondary succession species? Well, simple, if the pioneer species has colonized the area, creating several shady spots, birds will come to roost in that canopy. They will leave some seeds with their droppings and so the new species will come up. We've looked at the way that the forest can re-establish itself. Here we have another example of one of the pioneer species, Virgilia oroboides, that is starting to come up here. But we also have another way in which the forest can re-establish itself through coppice shoots. Over there we can see a coppice shoot forming from an old stump of a tree that has been burnt entirely in the above ground portion. The root system remains alive and it sends out a new shoot from there. So many of our forest species can also recover through coppice shoot formation. They don't always have to establish from seed. It's easy for the seeds of the secondary succession species to be established after the pioneer plants are large, but they can recover much faster if they come back through coppice.